Right, I'm making what I'm calling the Byron dipole. If you're going to do it for 80 meters, then 468 divided by the frequency. That's my frequency, 740. Okay, there's your meters, there's your feet. 40 meters, still 468 divided by the frequency, and there's the ones that I'm using. Okay. Right, and the wire I'm using is this multi stranded telephone wire or security wire. If you look around your house, you'll see this white stuff for your telephone, connecting your telephone around the house to extensions. Some of these, okay, and these small tie wraps see so you want these blocks now you want these blocks big enough so that this cable wire goes through it okay right what we need to do now is measure this right or whatever you whatever you're using half of it because that's the total length of the dipole half of it will be 63 feet so measure half of it at 63 which I've already done here look alright this is one end of the 63 okay right so one end is already measured to 63 feet so take a, a, a length off the roll and hold it against this end like this now run your hands keeping them both together so that you get exactly two exact halves of 63 feet work them through try it even take this end up so it's it's exact to the end and slip them through your hands until you get to the end of the 63 feet that you've already measured and the other end of off the roll will be exact to that one Right, what we've done now, we've got this uh, this block, one of those small tie wraps, any tie wraps, as long as it goes through like that. Right, now the end of, it's going to be the end of the dipole, right, we don't want no, we're not going to use any special ceramics, any insulators, we'll, this will do, okay. Now you can shove that through, look, shove that through, so that it's just nearly... nearly to the end it should go quite easily right there it is near to the end right now twig that up okay this cable will never rot will never stretch if you have to go through a tree around a tree or use the branches as a, a 90 degree to come back down another direction Put some grease on that, okay? Some grease. Slip it over the branch, pull it, leaving a bit of uh, the grease on the inside the branch, and it will pull tight as anything. And beautiful, right? That's for our string that we are hang anchor on that and pull the dipole taut. Right. So we've got it fixed to our centerpiece. Right, I'm just using one of these as a centerpiece. Okay, no ballon. I don't use ballons, never have done. Right, that you could put, you could swing on that and it wouldn't break. Okay, so that's the center fixed up. Now I'll show you how to, what to do at the ends. Right, we'll, we'll fix this coax on here, 50 ohm coax. You want to use 75 ohm? It's up to you. I do. Uh, using my SWR meter, you've seen it haven't you? VK5 JST antenna analyzer. Right, check the SWR. Right, so you've ch checked it out and uh, you find out you want to trim some off to your frequency, because I'm sure it's quite quite long. And, uh, but if you find uh, <laughs> it wants to, uh, then you have to start all over again, but um, I've never found that. It's, um, I've made it long, so it's trimming. Right, 
we just lower that down wherever it's hanging and all we do for trimming is loosen that off loosen that off okay shove it through that's a bit too close to that end all right shove it through what's the loosening I'm rushing because the sun's going in and uh, it gets a little bit dark in here then just had a load of snow right you find out you want a lot off so you pull it through like this put a bit of grease on that it slides through lovely right I find that sometimes you have to trim it a foot at a time so what you do you just go like this right so say this is a, a foot you've checked it out that it needs a foot off there's plenty of uh, calculators on the net will tell you how many kilohertz 100 kilohertz per 5 inch per side and all those kind of things you'll find that so right you trim it off or we'll say like that okay that's our foot one side one leg only so you retighten this well you know how to do that so you retighten that okay you take the foot the foot that you just pulled off this is I know it's not a foot length but um, you take it off you take it go to the other end so we say this is the other end now what we're doing as you understand already is that we're making sure that we take exact lengths off each end so right this is the other end we just a bit tight isn't it a bit of uh, a bit of fluid from the mouth I've lost that one here it is right so what we do is pull that through this is the other end we get that one we cut off okay like this measure it exactly like that mark it with a pen whatever right it looks so just pull it through a little bit and we'll guess what it's another right and retighten stick it back up okay stick the antenna analyzer on it again check for SWR now you're working down now you may need just a couple of inches on one um, so you might take a two, two feet off either end and then you find that a foot might be too much so you start to take an inch off maybe two inches at a time either end until you get the exact right SWR one to one okay I'm sure you can do that right just a quick tip here this is what I've done okay that's solid you won't get a larger one in there just these small ones they're only 100 mil and only very cheap right you want to anchor it onto a wall I've gone round my wall on a dipole only 10 foot high right you put about three of these on about 20 foot wall spread them out right you've seen them haven't you okay right so that's in the wall you probably don't have to uh, hit it right home what you have to do is just hook that on like that right the wire doesn't even touch the wall it doesn't make any difference to SWR anyway you can always tie it up by moving slightly in this you know and then retighten it but that that uh, hook you see it all right hold your cables on outside you just hook that on you leave it loose like that and run it on your brickwork or on your face here no one can see it people think it's a telephone uh, wire going around your house to make any difference whatsoever with SWR I've tried it with a meter doesn't trust me and that's what I've got okay you don't have to drive it right in nobody will ever notice it but uh, these are brilliant and these do not make any difference whatsoever to us to where you are that little bit of steel in there whatever it is brass doesn't make any difference but you don't join the ends together okay do not join them ends together just pull them when you finally finish just pull it just about there you don't need to seal it whatsoever tighten it up 
Okay, um, but uh, where I've done the centre piece, I joined all the wires together. Okay, gives it more strength. But at the ends like this, and when you want to trim, you just go doop, cut off, measure it with the other one, pull it tight, just like that, tighten both of them up, and that, that is strong as anything. Ah, good DX. See you later.